would like to call the Tuesday, September 19th, 2017 uh, Board of Commissioners meeting to order. With, we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to gather in your presence here tonight. We ask that you help guide us towards making good decisions for Jackson County and impart upon us the wisdom that best serves both you and our residents. We thank you for our strong military, providing us the freedom to gather as we are here tonight, as well as for our police officers and firefighters protecting and serving us in our communities. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Madam Clerk, could you please call the roll? Commissioner Leitner? Here. Commissioner Walls? Here. Commissioner Rice? Present. Commissioner Duckham? I'm here. Commissioner Tompkins? Commissioner Mahoney? I am here. Commissioner Palachek? Here. Commissioner Elwell? Here. Chairman Chatwell? Here. <laughs> Entertain a motion to approve the agenda as written. Support. We have a motion in support. Any corrections, deletions, or adjustments? Seeing or hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed, duly carried. We have no awards or recognition this evening. Is there any communications or written petitions to come before the Board of Commissioners? Please deliver them to the clerk at this time. Seeing none. Special order and public hearings at this time. We've arrived at the public hearing on the 2018-19 budget hearing. So move to open the budget hearing. Motion and support. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Duly carried. It's your opportunity for public comment on the budget, if you'd like to make some. There'll be an additional public comment not related to the budget later in the meeting. Peter Bournemouth. Um, I just want to reiterate once again my opposition to the idea of going into the bond market um, to finance these pension fund bonds, or the future county obligation. I think it's a, a very serious mistake that will harm the future residents of this county. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Avis Campbell, and I am here this evening to ask the support of the commission. Avis, may I remind you that this is just the budget uh, public hearing. It's not regular public comment yet. I'll remind you when that is, okay? Okay, well, thank you. Sure, if you'd like to speak on the budget, you're free to speak on the budget right now. Well, I really don't want to speak on the budget, okay? okay. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. Any public comment on the budget hearing? Commissioners? Hearing none, entertain a motion to close the budget hearing. So moved. Support. Have a motion in support to close the budget hearing. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign, duly carried. The budget hearing is now closed for the 2018 budget. We've now arrived at the regular public comment period. Avis, if you'd like to address us now, it's time time is appropriate. Time Thank you. Okay, I've already introduced myself, so I'll go from here. I would like the con total support of the Board of Commissioners, of the County Commissioners. My term as a Board of Canvasser is, will be expiring at the end of this month. And after considerable consideration, I would like to apply for my third term of Board of Canvassers. And I will give you just a 
couple little of my background experience. I have a background in education. I started in elementary education, wanted to be a teacher, so I enrolled in a degree program and finished that degree, went on with another one in arts, and by the time I finished that, I knew I did not want to be a teacher. So I ended up working at Jackson Community College in the skilled trades area and found that very, very interesting. Got involved in another degree with a history background, moved into criminal justice, worked there, and left Jackson Community College, which is now, of course, Jackson College, and got involved in buying apartments and operating them and maintaining them, and um, stayed with that for a period of time. And um, left the, when I left the college, and I moved to Napoleon, Michigan. And I am a, presently a member of the Republican Executive Board. I'm a friend of the Library Award for the year 216. I'm a member of the Drug Summit Work Group, and, which is chaired by um, Prosecutor Zarzenka. Being a canvasser has been a great learning experience, and much of the information revealed in the numbers that we work with, we in turn can use in our campaigning of each election process. The numbers are very, very, very important. It tells me a lot about not only the city, but countywide. At the present time, I am a student at Hillsdale College with online classes. I take all of their history classes, including the Constitution, Declaration of Independence, all about Winston Churchill, C.S. Lewis, religion, Greek history, and it's an outstanding program, and I would encourage anyone who wants to learn, 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 take those classes online. They are free. It's an outstanding school, and I would thank you very much for your support to continue on the Board of Canvassers. Good evening, Board of Commission. I am very excited to be here tonight, simply because it feels like home. It is my significant honor to be serving our community and the 64th District in Lansing as your state representative. It's more than serving Hanover, Pulaski, Spring Arbor, Concord, Sandstone, Parma, Summit, Napoleon, and the entire city of Jackson. It's, it's about our entire state and the opportunities that I am presented with to champion the awesome community we have here back at home. Today, I was given the opportunity to meet uh, with some of the governor's policy people, and he started talking about some educational programs and initiatives, and I'm like, we already have that going in Jackson. Each and every one of you are to um, be thanked for the service you provide in our community, and I would also like to um, thank you for allowing me to serve our community um, on the first floor. Using that room down there has provided me many opportunities on a weekly basis to meet with constituents. So I also thank you for that. I would ask one thing of you, that you continue to reach out to me with concerns and issues. Speaking today with our county treasurer, speaking on Friday with our county administrator, and many of you reach out with concerns and issues and questions for constituents as well. So I do appreciate having that, um, uh, those conversations with you, and please keep them coming. Thank you. Any other public comment? Peter Bournemouth wanted to congratulate you on your victory um, on the decision you received from the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals on Bunk and your fine attorneys, Matt Norford, who's here, and Allison Ho, who argued the case, and I don't believe you've ever met her, but a very, very fine attorney. Um, I wanted to tell you that I will be um, filing a petition for a writ of cert to the United States Supreme Court. They don't have to accept it, as you know, um, but hopefully they'll take this case because of the circuit split with the Fourth Circuit in Lund um, versus Rowan County. And um, 
if they do take it, I wish you the best of luck up there, and I wish myself just a little better luck. That 5-4 decision, hopefully, um, you know, Justice Kennedy, if he's a swing vote, still on the court, and if not, hopefully Justice Roberts, Chief Justice Roberts, will change his mind uh, in the way he voted in Greece. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tony Bear. I'd like to thank each and every one of you commissioners for continuing this fight to uh, express our Christian values and maintaining our Christian morality in this country. Thank you very much. And if this fight continues, I hope you will continue fighting for the side of right. Thank you. Any other public comment? Any other public comment? Public comment is now closed. No special meetings or, or any standing committees at this time. Entertain a motion on the minutes of the August 29th, 2017 meeting. We have a motion in support. Any questions or comments or corrections? Seeing or hearing none, all in favor please say aye. Same sign if opposed, duly carried. We've arrived at the consent calendar. Entertain a motion for the consent. We have a motion in support. Any items for removal? Seeing nor hearing none, Madam Clerk, could you post electronic vote? Commissioner Leitner? Yes. Commissioner Walls? Yes. Commissioner Rice? Yes. Commissioner Duckham? Yes. Commissioner Mahoney? <coughs> Mr. Palachek? Yes. Commissioner Alwell? Yes. Chairman Shatwell? Yes. Consent calendar passed 8 0. We're now arrived at standing committees. Standing Committee Affairs and Agencies, chaired by Commissioner David Elwell. Commissioner Elwell. Thank you, Mr. Chair. We've got several boards or committees uh, with appointments tonight. The Sanitary Code Board of Appeals is still looking for two alternates. There's no applicants, no recommendations yet. The Emergency Management Council, uh, it's a commissioner member. It's the former seat of uh, John Palachek. Sarah Leitner applied for it, and she is a recommendation from committee. Any nominations from the floor? Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Duly carried. Congratulations, Sarah. Commissioner Alwell. Next is the BRA, Brownfield Redevelopment Authority. It's a vacant seat with no applicants or recommendations. We'll continue to advertise. Board of County Canvassers, which is one appointment from each political party. On the Republican side, uh, it's the seat of Avis Campbell. And she's an applicant along with Wanda Brieger and Robert Donahue and Avis Campbell was a recommendation from committee. Any nominations from the floor? Hearing none, all in favor of Avis, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Duly carry. Congratulations, Avis. Commissioner Elwell. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, next is the Democratic uh, appointee to the Board of County Canvassers. At committee, we weren't familiar with any of the three from the Democratic Party, and we thought we'd leave it to uh, the two Democratic commissioners to struggle with that decision and make a recommendation or nomination here. So uh, the three applicants uh, from the Democratic Party are Susan Smalley, John Snyder, and Ellen Brooks. Any other nominations from the floor? Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed, duly carried. Susan Smalley is, is duly, ele duly elected. Commissioner Alwell. That's all I have to report, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you very much. Standing Committee Human Services, chaired by Commissioner uh, Carl Rice. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Human Services has no business to come before the board tonight. Thank you. 
Standing Committee Personnel and Finance, chaired by Vice Chairman Philip Duckham. Mr. Duckham. Thank you, Mr. Chair. We have no business tonight. Thank you. We have no unfinished business to come before the Board at this time. At this time, we are under new business, the Administrator Controller Budget General Appropriations Act. Administrator Overton. Finance Director Jim Latham is going to handle it from here. Uh, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, uh, what we're asking this evening in connection with the 2018 budget is your approval of four resolutions. And I'd like to discuss them all first. Uh, however, you would have to vote on them individually. Um, resolution 0917.30 is the General Appropriations Act. This establishes the uh, federal, um, the full-time employee equivalents in the budget. It establishes the millage rates for the, f for the fiscal year and so forth. Resolution 0917.31 establishes the budget for the general non-general or special revenue funds and the capital fund budgets. Resolution 0917.32 establishes the compensation for the fiscal year 2018. And finally, the re resolution 0917.33 is our annual statement that we are in compliance with Public Act 152, which is uh, the act requiring employees of the county to pay 20% of the health care costs. Um, and we're asking for approval of the attached resolutions and also the budget as shown on the attached documents as well as on the website as the budget document. Thank you. Mr. Elwell. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would like to make a motion and probably have to have some clarity from Jim or Mike on it. Uh, I did talk with Mike. I would uh, like to make a motion to separate out and uh, approve the budgets for the front of the court and the health department only. And Jim, if you can clarify, are those the only two budgets that start October 1st that would be necessary right now? That is, that is correct, Commissioner. Okay. Well, that would be my motion then to separate out and approve only those two budgets from this packet or group of uh, budget resolutions. Uh, I have been talking uh, for some time with the administrator about it. There, in my opinion, is work that still needs to be done on one specific part of the budget. Uh, that I'm not satisfied with the numbers on yet, and we don't have all the documents we need for it. It's a $246,000 part of a budget, and I think the most appropriate way is to approve these budgets that have to be done by October 1st, get those other issues resolved on that one uh, particular part of the budget, run it through committee next month, and then bring the other uh, Appropriations Act resolutions back to us next month. I'd support that, Dave. Any other questions from commissioners? Yeah. Administrator Rovin, do you understand what the Board of Commissioners has decided to do with the budget at this time? I do. I understand the motion and support. Uh, Jim, would you define what needs to change in rel what is it, Resolution 31 for the Board so they understand the amount? Yes, instead of uh, approving a general fund and all of the other funds listed on the attachments, um, we would be approving fund number 215, front of the court, for a total of 3,474,189. And you would be approving fund number 221, health fund, for $7,625,283. And if you'd let my motion reflect that detailed explanation. So I understand correctly, we will we'll be changing just 0917.31, is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. So then I, I will still need motions for 0 .30, 0 .32, and 0 .33, which will line up if these are passed at this time in this order? Yes. Okay. So 0 .33 is okay with it being held up for a while? 30 days? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So reflecting the detail that's been explained at this time, I'm going to walk through these motions. And if I need correction, I would appreciate the administrator to step in and tell me tell me where we need it. So at this time, I'll entertain a motion for resolution 
one seven point three zero. Well, we still have Dave's motion on the floor. I thought Dave was inquiry to when we would have to do it. No, I just wanted okay. Jim's Jim's detailed explanation to reflect in my motion, which was to pass just the FOC and Health Department. Okay, so then we'll be doing number two first, according to the, the I'm looking at the white paper that was produced with this. So what um, we're doing is this right here, correct? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. Um, I believe it would be appropriate to to uh, approve them in order. And I'm going to start with 30. And then the issue is with res Resolution 31, because 30 is a general resolution that says that you're in accordance with the General Appropriation Act, that's which would I, apply to the two funds. That's what I was attempting yeah, to do. I'm sorry. And are commissioners comfortable with that? Isn't the, isn't the question, though, whether we're going to adopt uh, two parts of the budget or the whole budget? Isn't right. that my, a question my, on the floor? Yes, my, my plan is to not adopt the whole budget, only those two portions Correct. of the budget. Correct. And you're on the same page with that, Jim, in your explanation? Yes, but because he, would, he, would like us, he would like us to approve the General Appropriations Act so we're in compliance with the law. And then the specific budget items that we want to currently approve and then the other ones we want to postpone would be postponed. But I'm sorry, I'm also confused. The the, mo the motion has to do with whether you want to approve, with respect to Resolution 31, whether you want to approve the whole thing or whether you want to just approve the two. So then you would vote on just the two, right? Correct. Okay. All right. But everything right. else is still applicable. Yes, that's right. Is I, I see our attorney moving. Right. So, so the, the only thing that I would just add to this is you do have a motion on the floor. I would consider it a motion to amend. And if you want to address that motion before you go through the list yes. of the resolutions, yeah. and then that second resolution, which is yes. uh, the budget element, that would be approved as amended if this motion to amend, which is currently on the floor, passes. So the motion is to amend uh, resolution uh, 31. which is what I was attempting to do right now. Do I need a roll call or just a general yay or nay on an amendment? An amendment you can do just a voice vote. Thank you. So we have an amendment uh, voiced by Commissioner Elwell, supported by Commissioner Leitner to uh, amend the general, establishing the general non-general capital fund budgets, uh, specifically line item 215 uh, and 221 to reflect in those minutes and we're entertaining just the amendment at this time. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Those opposed, duly carried. So now we're going to go on to 09-17.30, the 2018 General Appropriations Act Resolution. Madam Clerk, could you please post that vote? I need a, excuse me, I need a motion first. I apologize. We have a motion in support. Not working again? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, moved by Mahoney, supported by Duckham. Eight zero. Yep. Eight zero. The the emo, the motion passed. Now we're on to zero nine dash one seven point one three has amended by the board of commissioners. I have a motion in support. Everyone understands what they're voting on. You can post it.
Now at this time we'll be voting on 0917.32, compensation for non-union employees for fiscal year 2018. We have a motion and support. Posted. Eight zero. Entertain a motion on resolution zero nine one seven point three three annual statement of compliance with Public Act one fifty two. Have a motion. Support. We have support. Any questions to the resolution? Madam Clerk, could you please post? Motion passed, or resolution passed 8 0. And thank you for my fellow commissioners and the administrator and Jim. At this time, we've arrived at the second opportunity for public comment. If you'd like to make public comment, you may please step forward and address the board. Uh, Phil Clark, just don't know what to say with the $4.30 that's going to be indefinitely on my sewer bill, along with the extra $4 to help pay for Leone. You know, I gave you advice, tack it on to the end of their bond payments, and hopefully with this new bond payment that you're investigating for the budget, don't go through Leone with them, you know. Like um, Controller Overton said, you might want to put your baker's hats on and start some bake sales, you know. And uh, Overton believes that the uh, board's decision is defendable in court. It'll be very interesting. And I do have to say, Liberty Township, I hate to tell you, you, you you don't get my support. Any other public comment? I'd like to point out, Peter Bormuth, I'm sorry. I'd like to point out that there's a case currently in federal court just in the... I think the Western District of Texas, Harvest Valley Church versus FEMA. The um, Christians are now asking for our federal tax dollars to be used to rebuild their churches after Hurricane Harvey. This is obviously an unconstitutional use of tax dollars. I hope everyone who cares about how public funds are used will pay attention to what the courts do in this case and also vote out the Republicans who are trying to establish the Christian religion in our government and to use our tax dollars to promote it and to build churches. Any other public comment? Hi, Tony Bear. Church organizations are just groups of citizens. They just happen to have a common belief structure. And if that group of citizens is asking for federal relief after a disaster, I'm all in favor of that. Any other public comment? Seeing none, Commissioner comments. Commissioner Leitner. Today, due to the weather, we had to um, postpone the 
Department of Aging Car Show, Classic Car Show at the fairgrounds. But it will be tomorrow from 4.30 to 7.30. Um, so I just wanted to let the public know that it will happen tomorrow. Any other commissioner comments? Seeing none. At this time, I'd entertain a motion, um, a motion in accordance with MCL 15.268 to discuss attorney-client communication and to discuss trial strategy in the Jackson County versus Leone. So moved. We have a motion in support. Uh, Clerk, could you post the vote? You a yes? Okay. What are we at? Okay. Eight zero.